think in a curious way, business people are cautiously upbeat at, this, at a gathering. When you're out and about in the country, as I have been in the last couple of months, a lot of people are very, very nervous, very, very worried. Some people are kind of frozen. You know, they're not, they're too nervous to invest, but they've got lots of money sitting on their balance sheet. What you get a feeling of at a conference, actually, when people come together, it's a bit like them having a group hug. They start to feel a bit better about everything because they're seeing their contacts, they're seeing other people from their industry, they're sharing experiences and realizing that they're not isolated, they're not the only people having the problems that they are, um, that they're experiencing. So, in a way, I've been slightly surprised that the mood of this conference has felt quite upbeat, even though there's no hiding the fact that it's a very, very difficult time to be doing business. It's always great to be at a high profile event like this and actually even better if you can get involved in a more significant way and kind of had a chance to talk to a couple of the panellists before our session this afternoon, had a chance to have a proper conversation with John Cridland. You know, those moments where you can catch people to have a proper conversation rather than being in the melee of a big conference where you might only get 30 seconds with someone was a really good experience for me this afternoon. And as I say, I was quite surprised the overall mood and atmosphere had been been actually quite upbeat which you might not expect in the current climate. I think that um, again it was quite striking to me how the Prime Minister's speech was actually pretty similar to the speech he made this time last year. I was at the CBI conference last year, David Cameron came along, said we have to spend more on infrastructure but the public sector can't do it, the private sector will have to do it. Yes we have to get the deficit down, I know that makes growth difficult but that's what we have to do. And although as ever he delivered a very polished performance, he's a very good politician, a very good performer, there were lots of echoes from a speech he made 12 months ago and some of the people attending the conference have made that point to me privately. So he's very good when he's up on the stage but we're still not quite sure what the substance of what he's saying is and 12 months on the messages are quite sim similar and of course in those preceding 12 months the climate's become even tougher. It's very difficult. People said it was going to be an export-led recovery. The gap between what we import and export is actually growing. People then said it would be a manufacturing recovery. We would be led out of recession by the march of the makers. Well, manufacturing in some parts of the country is doing really well in some sectors, but some others are finding it very difficult. And when it comes to brass tax, manufacturing is only 10% of the economy. So on its own, it can't transform things overnight. And whatever is discussed here in this room, in this conference, whatever is discussed in this country, what so many businesses are saying to me is that they feel cautious, they feel nervous until whatever is going to happen in the Eurozone is sorted out. One way or another, they feel almost sort of frozen at the moment until the big economic and political problems are worked out. The danger is, of course, it may take many, many months for there to be some resolution of those big systemic problems of the euro and that leaves British businesses in a really difficult situation because there's not a huge amount they can do about it apart from keeping their heads down and trying to grow their own companies.